Hey everybody, it's Christine and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am doing a what I got my five-year-old daughter for Christmas. I actually did uh, film this earlier, but it was getting way too long. But anyway, um, if you're into it, sit back, relax, take your troubles to the door, and do some Christmas uh, gifting with me. All right, I'm just going to start right out. And this kitten is just going crazy. She just wants to be in everything. <laughs> that I'm getting into. So uh, if you watched my channel before, I am a huge Dollar Tree addict. Now all this is coming from the Dollar Tree. Let me get her out of the way here. Oh, she wants to bite me. All right. So anyway, this is from an old uh, candle. And actually this bow is part of her pants from when she was an infant. But... The brush set is all from the Dollar Tree I got. Whoa! <laughs> I got, um... Hey, your butt. <laughs> I got, uh, six brushes, and she's just very distracting. Um, so anyway, you can see that it has that ombre effect. So let me stick this back in here. Got her also from the Dollar Tree. Two of these beautiful butterfly um, hair accessories and a bath bomb, which she picked out. And this one is kind of cool because uh, not only do you get a bath bomb, but you get five tattoos inside. So it's a two for one, basically. So on to the next present. The next one, also Dollar Tree inspired. So I have a grooming kit here push this up just a little bit I don't know if you can see that presentation there so uh, again this is all from the Dollar Tree this is just from like some old stockings or whatever I do like to reuse stuff but all the other stuff is brand new so what we got is um, just a brush holder and if it gets yucky on the inside we can always clean it here is a little uh, brush let me take this stuff out so there's a brush, a star-shaped brush, and it's nice. It has like that little shaker detail. We have a hair band, a little fancy one. Oops. And got a detangler comb. And I won't shine you guys out, but there is a mirror there. They are so cute. Um, and also from the same pack, so I have a comb here. The tines are really nice, so it's not going to break on her. And then I have another comb right here. So I thought that was a pretty good gift and not on the expensive side. All right, so the next gift is mainly from the Dollar Tree again. So that beautiful uh, gift bag is what it's going to be all wrapped in. And this time it is an Explorer's kit. So usually during the spring and summer they will uh, have these nets so she can run around and catch butterflies or whatever she wants to do and in the fall they usually sell like a backpack or two um i know that they still have them at the store but i went ahead and i put a patch on it and let's see if i can actually so that is the backpack and in her little explorer's kit i've got a whole bunch of treats here so let's see, let's do this one by one. So we have these little bugaboos here. So they're wall walkers, so you have a ladybug. And on the flip side here, another package, you have a bee wall walker. And here we have... So we have everything a little explorer needs to have for collecting bugs, rocks, whatever. So here is a collecting thing and micro, um, uh, what do you call magnifying glass and some tweezers. And the other set is how you would capture bugs and little things with a net and everything like that. And of course, a explorer's kit wouldn't be complete without your flashlight. So this again is from the Dollar Tree, and man oh man, do these things work. Let's see, 
Whoa, all right, so you get the idea. So even if we go camping, she can use this light. Okay, and I think the very last thing in this, and this one is not from the Dollar Tree. This is actually an old purse that I'm actually not using. The box that came, uh, it was an Amazon order and it was just crumpled and looked like yuck. So anyway, it is a crossbody bag um, and it is a pair of binoculars. So let me show you real quick here. It does come with a cleaning cloth for the lenses, but it is so compact. So all you have to do is spread that out and it actually will fit almost any face. So if she wants to go spying on people, or I know that's not a good thing, um, explore bugs, watch birds, and even if she becomes a, um, like a theater person in the future, she can actually use these as um, opera glasses. So, yep, this will last her up until, uh, I don't know, it's always gonna be good. <laughs> The other feature that this had, and I think that was it was kind of good, uh, even though she she's five, obviously doesn't have a cell phone, but it does have this option where it can hold your phone and you could put it over the eyepiece and it, it's going to magnify the image on your phone. So she can read simple books and she's just putting it together, but we always try to read to her every night. So with that, uh, we got her some books. So this is a book that I grew up with called A Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. And if you're not familiar with it, it just has uh, super graphics there, super cute and a good story. So I would highly recommend this um, if you want some entertainment and to read it for your little ones. Um, speaking of that, I do like uh, books and stories with morals and things like that or less just lessons to be learned so uh, so this is an oldie but goodie with the Aesop's fables and this again has fantastic illustrations I mean look at those um, so it seems like it's pretty easy reading and I think it's just gonna be enjoyable so nice big book with graphics so we've got that one and this one is a little pricey um, these usually run like $30 a book so just be prepared if you're interested but it's a wonderful pop-up book uh, they have a whole series the last time since her um, nickname is Bell so we got her the Beauty and the Beast one and this one is the Cinderella pop-up so this is what it looks like and look at the, um, the pop-ups these are just incredible so if you go back and forth you know like the people dance let's see so her beautiful dress <laughs> the beautiful carriage and the horses uh, so you get the picture they are just wonderful and she can keep them forever um, uh, it's not on the uh, the super kiddo side um, because it's more true to the actual written fairy tale but still I think she's gonna have a good time with it so she's a really good combination of tomboy and girly girl and with that she loves dinosaurs and space and science and all that good stuff so I got her an excavation kit before but it was on the cheaper side so we bumped up to something a little bit more uh, expensive so what you're going to do is you're going to dig out the dinosaur pieces and at the end there is a model that she can put together so I thought that was good and she's going to enjoy that a lot and with the dinosaur theme uh, I she wasn't into Paw Patrol anymore but I thought an RC um, something was going to be good for her so we are going to try out this RC dinosaur. I thought that was so cool. I think she's going to get the biggest kick out of it. Um, here is the remote with the little skeleton fossil thing. Yeah, so lots and lots of fun. Let's get into some girly girl stuff. So she likes the idea of Barbie and not actually playing or um, 
make believing with them. She basically likes changing the clothes and playing the video game. That's about it. So with that being said, she had a Barbie birthday. So she had, she got two Barbies and two of my old Barbies. But now her collection is going to increase somewhat. So hopefully this doesn't glare you out. But anyway, let me adjust this camera so you can actually see her a little bit better. So there she is. And she actually came in a few different skin, skin tones. But uh, obviously this is the one that was speaking to me. So anyway, uh, they are all gorgeous. But anyway, she has that gorgeous dress going on. And um, so the Barbie clothes are super, super expensive and um, we actually don't have a good storage solution for it. So I did go ahead and get her this little vanity, or not vanity, this closet and it does come with a bunch of hangers there. Okay, so let me open this up because this is all associated. So when I was talking about the clothes, Barbie is going to get a whole new wardrobe. Yep, but it's not going to be the official Barbie stuff because like I said, that stuff is so expensive. Like a two pack is like 10 or $12 or whatever. But the dollar store came to the rescue again and it has all these beautiful outfits. It has everything from cocktail dresses, um, violin players, uh, casual, you name it, it's probably in here. Uh, I do love the careers and where's the astronaut one? The astronaut one has to be my favorite just, uh, just because she, her room is all uh, decked out in outer space stuff. So there's that. And of course, at least when I was a kid, I was never into the clothes. It was just like a ugh, kind of thing. So I thought, since I was packing Barbie all these clothes, I thought she should be a part of that experience. So there is bunches and bunches of accessories. So she is getting a pair of shoes that fits her. That's kind of glamorous. And then she just has a whole bunch of flying bag stuff toothbrush, little nails, uh, accessories, and there's two of these. Dollar Tree was selling these uh, tie-dyed, make your own design on these plain dresses. So I thought she would have a good time with that. Sorry about that arm there. So let me remove all this and I'll give you a sneak peek on all the clothes. So as you can see there, they have beautiful um, designs. And I believe this is from Marshalls. Um, so there's an owl. Let's see. There is a kitty cat. I don't know if you can see that. There is a girl with balloons. Uh, I believe this is from Burlington, but there's a beautiful sweater with a love on it. I don't know if you can see that. And then... There is some... This is uh, some fleece lined pants. There is a pair of skorts that... Uh, that they had on clearance. I think this was like $2.50. And beneath that, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a pinkish purple pair of pants. All three of the bottoms will, um, will match all of these tops. A while back, uh, I made her a little fake kitchen 
uh, or a play kitchen so this is just some accessories for that um, so anyway again <laughs> Dollar Tree is saving the day with like little uh, goodness here so there is a play-doh dinner set with a hamburger and uh, a lunch set with um, some chicken wings and some hot dogs and getting to the other kitchen stuff this is called happy kitchen this thing was so cute it does come with a range and a bunch of pots and pans and this one right here has a jet of water that looks like steam so uh, so this is interactive and then this is interactive and uh, there's a bunch of play food I love this crab you can actually peel them and everything here is all the accessories that come with it and some more accessories so I thought that was a very good kit and along with the kitchen stuff we did go ahead and we got this beautiful set we're always me and my husband are always drinking coffee so there's a coffee maker a mixer and this little toaster does have some interaction things with it so is it gonna ding no it didn't so anyway i thought that was a fun set and she does have some storage in her kitchen that she can put stuff away last but not least she loves the color pink and she loves hearts that's my cat Monty he's not as rambunctious as the as the little one okay now you gotta get your cat butt out of the way too okay come on keep on going okay so <laughs> okay so anyway we did go ahead and got her a comforter set so she hasn't had bedding since her baby shower so this is going to be a nice change like i said she loves pink and she loves hearts and this set actually came with the sheets so can't wait to she is going to be so geeked about it so anyway that is her big presence and now i can get to the stocking stuffers i'm just going to go through these super quick Lots of them, again, are from the dollar store, but some of them aren't. So, uh, she loves the vacuum, so there is a mini vacuum here. Uh, she has a lollipop that's going to make her have a beard, so I thought that was cool. Uh, here is a little flyer that she can have fun with. I think it lights up. Remember when you were a kid, they had a miniature Simon game, so she can challenge herself with puzzles. She loves Scribby Scrubbies. So at our local Meyer, they had the one pack. So these are so much cheaper than the multiple packs. I think the big set costs around like $20. But these are like only $2.99 or something like that. So got her a couple and one that she never touched. So I'm going to throw that one in with her stocking. Okay, got bunches of blind bags. Got two of these uh, Puppy Friends Club, and it's just some miniatures with some houses. So you'll have to guess which one you get. Okay, we have some surprise nail stickers. She's going to get some M&Ms. Uh, there is a Disney Dorables. So again, you're going to get a surprise figurine. Uh, and I didn't know this until Halloween, but she likes fun dips. So I went ahead and got her the Christmas edition. And then rounding the stocking off, there is a blind bag with a surprise princess stamper. So every year I do an ornament exchange. And so depending on what people are going through that year or what they like or whatever, I try to tailor the um, ornament to what they like. And so my little one, she just adores pancakes. So I did find this cute pancake ornament um, for her. So let me unwrap this guy. Isn't that the sweetest thing? has all the toppings and I think on the other side it does have some dripping syrup so anyway that is it for what I got my daughter 
for Christmas. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and gave you some ideas. I like watching other videos, uh, the exact same thing, what they got their family for Christmas. So with that, happy holidays, and we will see you all the next time. All right, bye-bye.